Hello there everyone, welcome back, and I'm going to be talking about A Star is Born. Now, A Star is Born is one of the big releases this weekend, so I thought I'd go and check out, like Venom, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to check out Venom too, but I thought I'd see this one first, because I actually heard this was a good movie, and Venom was not, but I'll, I'll have to decide for myself when I see both films. But first, A Star is Born. Now, this is the fourth iteration of this type of movie. There's been three other ones, and from what I heard, all three of them were Oscar contenders and really big with the critics and all that. So that made me think, all right, it's going to be another one of those. It's going to be an Oscar bait film, and it might just be trash, but all the critics like it. But actually, it's really good. So let me just get down to the basic premise. So basically, it's about Lady Gaga, who... <laughs> Lady Gaga, you know, she's just just trying to, you know, get her dream oh, about singing and stuff, but she's working multiple jobs so that she can make ends meet. And then you have Bradley Cooper, who's like a washed up singer, who's already famous, and then they meet and they fall in love and a love story ensues. But that's basically as simple as I'll make it, because I don't want to spoil anything, but it actually gets really sad in the movie and especially near the end there I was not expecting that at all and there are like stuff to make you feel bad about especially the Bradley Cooper character by the way he's <laughs> he he's good at directing because he directed and started this he's good at the directing but I didn't I could not get into his acting in this movie I'm sorry uh I cannot understand half of what he was saying and he it would sound like mumbling and he was, you know, I guess that was the character he was playing. It's just I couldn't understand most of it. So by default, his acting was not that good in the movie, unfortunately. Sorry. Lady Gaga was actually really good. She was probably the MVP in this movie. And I had no idea she could act, you know, because she's known as a singer. But she did a good transition. Probably the best one I've seen in quite a while. So I thought on the acting aspect, he wasn't that good, but she really was. The music, meh. I mean, I'm... Maybe one song I kind of like, but none I'm gonna buy on like the sound, like you know, soundtrack or anything. Spotify, I'm not gonna get any. So, but the music for the film was all right. It wasn't like Greatest Showman level where, oh my gosh, I need to buy the soundtrack. No, the there's other characters in it, like his brother played by Sam Elliott. I thought he was really good for what he was in, but he's not really in it. Um, Lady Gaga's dad and her group of friends in the film, I thought they were all right and they add to her where she's coming from and stuff and it's just it's there isn't really that much to say with this movie which is funny because it's over two hours and like i think it's two hours and 20 minutes so it's a really long movie and i that's the problem there are moments where i'm watching it and i just start the it's moments like that where i feel that they could have cut out a bit of it like cut out maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes we would have been much happier because i mean if you can't if to be fair these aren't really my kind of movies i was just trying to be experimental and see something outside my playground my playgrounds usually be these superhero kind of action movies horror i'm starting to really get into i'm really loving the horror movies coming out i can get into comedies and stuff it's just these love story type of movies i'm that's not really my thing so me um, going to see is don't have this my meh reactions on it affect any of you that want to see it but it's still good it's still well made I liked I, I the characters were just good enough for me to get through it it's just uh, the stuff I've listed above just didn't do it for me so those are my thoughts on A Star is Born and what do you guys think of it? Do you guys think this will be one of those Oscar bait films? Because, oh my gosh, it has Oscar bait written all over it. <laughs> it's probably going to get a couple nods. It might win something. If it wins Best Actor for Bradley Cooper, I'm going to be shook. Because he was not that good in this movie. Now, Best Director, I could see him getting nominated. Because this was a really well-directed movie. Um, I think Lady Gaga should be nominated for Best Actress. Absolutely. She was great in this. Um, yeah. Best Picture for this film? I hope not. It's not really best picture material, but it's still good. It's just I wouldn't put it in my top. You know, actually, right now, I've already seen that many films, so by default, what, nine films? I think it's in my top nine, so by default, I would, but it, more films are coming out that I'm sure are going to be better than this. So, thank you all for watching. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you want 
leave a bell, hit the bell, I mean, for more modifications. And if you want to comment, I'll reply and all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.